And we begin at five with pictures from our Southfield Skycam. On a normal day, you would pretty clearly see the Detroit skyline in this picture. But thanks to wildfire smoke from Canada, this thick haze is sticking around. Now take a look at live pictures from New York City. Right now, uh, the sky has turned a little bit orange from all the smoke. It's even forced flights into LaGuardia Airport to be canceled, and this is better than it was just a few hours ago. That is what an improvement looks like. Yeah. A look at this time lapse now from the National Weather Service. Smoke rolling into Manhattan around 11 and watch as it gets progressively worse from there. In fact, the mayor of New York telling folks to just stay indoors right now. And to the south, live pictures from Philadelphia. Air quality issues have forced the Tigers game there tonight against the Phillies to be postponed. Back here at home for a few minutes today, the city of Detroit's air quality was second worst in the world. The world. Thanks for joining us, everybody. I'm Kimberly Gill. I'm Devin Skillian. We were actually ahead of New York for a while behind uh, Delhi, India, but conditions did shift during the day, and now we've dropped to around 23rd, but bad. Let's uh, kick things off with Rod Maloney, and this could have a big impact on uh, the people's health, especially certain people, Rod. Right, Devin. In fact, take a look behind me here. We're looking at all those pictures of what the haze looks like. You can see the Detroit skyline here from Belle Isle, and you can see the haze there. Now, I'm not a doctor, but what the experts have been telling me today is that the particulates in the air right now are large enough so that if you breathe them in, they get into your lungs into what they call the alveoli, and that is where the gas-air exchange gets made. And for people who have uh, issues, say lungs, say asthma uh, issues and things like that, or have heart issues, this can be a problem for them. It's these Canadian forest fires causing the problem. Here's where the skies looked like for the past couple of days. And then this afternoon, Drone 4 gave us a good look at it. To get an idea of what that wayward smoke is doing, we have the EPA air quality map showing a giant red blob, which is the unhealthy air, moving over us early this morning. University of Michigan Environmental Health Sciences professor Dr. Stuart Batterman is concerned. This level exceeds the relevant EPA standards by uh three or maybe four times and uh so so that puts it into uh hazardous conditions and advised not going outdoors today if you don't have to people limit their exposure limit their exercise and time outdoors particularly if they're uh have existing conditions like asthma or uh, uh cardiovascular disease yet across the city we found people who tried to carry on with their regular lives netto jogged on the east side as he does daily and did feel itching the nose a little bit and also the throat so it's not that good so it dries up a little bit Detroiter Dietrich Winters came to Belle Isle today to enjoy the great and hazy outdoors with a Caledad Supremo cigar with his brother. Well, I kind of like enjoy it, but the quality of the air, as far as I'm concerned, is good. So it's uh, one of those things where you uh, sort of listen, if you will, to the advice that is given out. And one of the things that the doctor told me was that for people who have the windows open, uh, that makes it so that the air inside is equally poor as the air outside and advises you probably want to close them up for the time being. Back to you. And what else are you hearing about uh, ways to just protect ourselves every day, Rob? Well, uh, interestingly enough, uh, you, you can put on an N95 mask. We're mm -hmm. all well aware of those now after right. the pandemic. But the doctor also talked about a U of M video where you can build an air filter inside your home for like 25 bucks. We posted that video on click on Detroit.com. Maybe worth a look. All right, Rod.